Well, good evening, gang, and welcome to It's All About Arts. My name is Glenn Williams, and I'm your host, and we're coming to you live from our beautiful studio here at BNN TV. And you're more than welcome to join us if you'd like. We're at 617 708 329 3290. And Dave and the great staff of BNN are in the other room answering the phone. So if you'd like to join us, please feel free to give us a call. Let us know what's going on artfully in your community, in your life, what you are doing. Uh, big shout out to the gang out there in uh, Sheraton Grove. They had a great, great, uh, my friends up there in West Roxbury on, on Washington Street. We had a great class the other day and we were doing sculpture. Uh, and they were we're, we're doing it with Sculpty, and it's uh, that air dried stuff that kind of dries, and it's all kind of sitting in a corner now. But we had an awful lot of fun, so I wanted to make sure I said hello to the gang out there, and thank you so much for allowing me to be part of of, of your lives up there. It's so much fun up there because they um, we do a lot of a lot of art stuff, but we also hang around and kind of you know talk about what's going on in the community. So it's it's a it's a great. Uh, Great experience for me. Thank you, gang, very, very much. Coming up in just a couple of weeks is that great farmer's market out in Rosendale Village at Adams Park, right at the intersection of Cummins Highway and Washington Street. Uh, you can come down there, and uh, the farmer's market is starting up in the first band at the Rosendale Village Main Street's concert series at the Rosendale Village Main Street's farmer's market is going to be opposite people. We're very, very excited about that. There will be 22 different acts this year, 22 different concerts down in the square during the farmer's market, so come on down. The music is from 11 to 1, but the farmer's market is from 9 to 1.30. So it's every Saturday, starting in a couple of weeks, right straight through till November. And it's turned into not just a great place to get your peas and carrots and your music fix, but it's also a great place to go and meet your neighbors, uh, bring the kids down, have a picnic, enjoy the atmosphere, and, and get to know some of the people in your community. It's been a great experience that I've been involved in for so many years. This is my first year off of it. I'm not going to be um, be doing the sound or booking the bands. They have got. They, have I, they haven't replaced me. I retired, and they have gotten some other people to take care of all of that fine work, and it's going to be as good, if not better, than ever this year. So we're very, very excited about all that. Also, a week from Thursday, on May 30th, is the Great Arts Show in Sacred Heart School on Canterbury Street in Rosendale. We're really, really looking forward to that. It's a showcase event of the year for a lot of the artists in, uh, in Sacred Heart School. There'll be over 350 pieces of art on the wall and about 200 sculptures. So come on down between 8 o'clock in the morning until 6 o'clock at night. Place is going to be open all day long. It's a great opportunity not only to come down and check this school out, but it's also a great opportunity to see some of the future artists at their finest. It's going to be an awful lot of fun. So that's on May 30th. Come on down. It's going to be a, a blast and, uh, and a great opportunity for the kids, too. I mean, it's really nice when people come in and, and view their work from K-0 to the 8th grade. And I'm telling you, three, four, and five-year-olds who have taken art all year long uh, are producing some amazing pieces of work. Uh, the color. One of the rules in our classroom is you have to use five colors. Uh, you, <laughs> you know how kids will grab that one purple crayon and color, do the whole thing one color. Not in my room. They have to use at least five colors. And one of the things we've noticed over the years as the shows have progressed is how much more colorful things are. So that's kind of like a big deal. So come on down. Just sweep by if you, if you find yourself in the neighborhood. That's Canterbury Street in Rosendale, right between Poplar and High Park Avenue. Come on down and check us out. Um, I'm going to get quickly through some business here. Uh, we want to be, th we're very, very thankful and grateful for the Boston Main Streets program who helped keep us on the air here. Boston Main Streets is a volunteer driven organization that helps revitalize business districts around the Boston area. It's now gone global. It started in 1986 when then the great mayor of, city, of, the, of the city of Boston was city councilor Tom Menino, who brought this urban idea to re redevelop business districts, brought it to Rosendale and West Rushman High Park area because we were going through some very, very bad times uh, uh, um, business-wise in the areas. There were grates, there were fires, there were empty storefronts. So what Main Streets does is they help the 
property owner get the right business in the storefront? They do all of the demographic work and what have you. And if there's three or four hairdressing salons and a couple of barbershops, they don't suggest that you put a nail salon or a barbershop downstairs. Uh, they tell you what the people are leaving that area to buy where they're going and spending their money. <clears throat> so you can bring that right kind of business into there. Once the business is in there, there's another, there's another group of volunteers who help uh, <clears throat> with design, making your business look appealing, making sure the signage is right, it's not hanging out over the sidewalk too much, make sure that the, your, your windows are appealing so people will want to come in and, uh, and, and enjoy your wares. And then there's the promotions committee who does all of those tastes of Rosendale, the, the, uh, the, the farmers markets all over the city, all of those kind of things. Uh, they are the ones who you see running different events down in your business district. So I say it every week and I mean it, if you see someone in the Main Street's jacket or t-shirt, thank them because they are volunteers only because they love their community and they love where they live. So uh, they're doing it for you and for them. So make sure you say thank you to them. Um, the other thing I like to talk a little bit about is this building that we're in, BNN TV. It is an amazing building here in Eggleston Square, right on Washington Street. And it used to be, if you go back far enough, the orange line used to go down Washington Street, and it was an elevated uh, tra train. And this was the building that supplied all the power. There were three big generators in here, humming all the time, making sure that the orange line was running up and down Washington Street on time. You know, technology got to where we didn't need these big generators, and about 30 years ago, they stopped using this as their source of energy. Uh, and this building sat here uh, vacant for many of those years. And BNN, T BNN, along Boston Neighborhood Network, along with the help from Urban Edge and the city of Boston, we purchased this building and turned it into some state-of-the-art television studios. If you're sitting at home going, gee, you know that guy Glenn's on there all the time and he can do it, you can do it too. All you've got to do is go to www.bnntv.org, click on Janice Williams' name, and that'll get you all of the information that you need to become, number one, a member here. And a member gives you an opportunity to take all of these really cool Final Cut Pro sh um, uh, courses, lighting, uh, sound, how to use these state-of-the-art cameras, how to do some shots outside, how to get involved in the van so you can go and do a shoot at the Little League game, bring it back and, and edit it on Final Cut Pro, put it on BNN TV. Then there's the other side where everybody gets to do their nonprofit thing. This is the channel you're watching right now. And what it is, is it's an opportunity for people who have a nonprofit to get on here and talk a little bit about their mission statement and tell the community what's going on as far as what, they, what they're working on. They can bring guests in and talk about uh, their, their ideas and what they want and what they're trying to, how they're trying to improve your community. So this is the place to do it if you want to get involved. Go to www.bnntv.org. That's how, you, that's how you get involved here at BNN. You might notice that the great Suzanne Schultz is not here. She's probably out on location again. I've missed her for a couple of weeks. But, um, that, you know, I'm sure she's out doing some great things artfully, and I'm sure that she's probably interviewing somebody somewhere. So she's probably got Andrew Swain in, in tow with a camera and a microphone stuck in someone's face. Say hello to her if you see her out there in the community, please, because Suzanne and our, um, Canvas Fine Arts are doing some great, great, great things. We're going to take a break. We're going to look at a couple of videos, and we're going to be back with our, with our guests. We have a full show tonight, so don't go away, gang. Listen, you are watching BNN TV's It's All About Arts. My name is Glenn Williams, your host. Please hang in there. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Thank you. I can see your dreams come true. 
Thank you, gang, for hanging in there with us. You're watching BNN TV's It's All About Arts. My name is Glenn Williams, and I'm your host. You can join us if you'd like. 
We're at 617-708-3290. And by the way, we also are streaming live. So I have to shout out to our good friends out in Illinois. Uh, the Baxters are out there with, uh, if they, they are from the, one of the art centers out there in, and, and uh, they've been religiously watching us for the last, I don't know, year, I guess. And I want to say thank you very much for tuning in with us. And a shout out to them. Um, I know that um, they enjoy the show and, and, it's, and it's great to have you guys with us. Thank you very much, as well as all of our friends here in Boston. Uh, it's always great. But we are streaming live, so if you go to www.bnntv.org, that'll get you. You just click on that, what's playing now. But if you're listening to me say this, you don't have to do that because you're actually watching us on Channel 9 Comcast or 15 on RCN. So, well, thank you very much for being here. And it's my great now pl pleasure and honor to introduce you to Christina Pitaniello. Did Hi. I do it? Perfect. How are you? Great. Thank you so much for coming in. I really do appreciate you being here. Did you find us okay? Sure. Yeah, it's kind of easy Washington Street. Yeah. Are you a local? I am. Good. Mm -hmm. So you live in Boston? I do. Me too. Um, you are a designer. Yes. Now, you know, that's, I've always thought that as a kind of a broad thing. You know, there's design and kind of throw the label of designer on top of a, of a lot of different things, web design, all of this stuff. But um, if I had to put a specific kind of designer label on you, Christina, what kind of label would that be? Um, I'm an accessories designer. Okay. So everything in there, like belts and jewelry, jewelry lines mm -hmm. of jewelry. Have you, have you always been involved in, are you designing only or are you crafting too? Um, I used to do more of like, well, I, I always make the model. That's how it works. You, okay. I make the prototype, and then I, like a, a firm will hire me to make a line of jewelry. Whether okay, so the Glenn Williams Company gives you a call and says, you know, I need some original belt buckles for my low-budget records yeah. company. Okay, so, I, you know, you hire me, mm -hmm. and I make you all of the prototypes, and then... I tell you how to produce it. Like I'll give oh, you a factory oh. name and, oh, and really? like ex you know, and I'll go over like finishes and production, and then I, I just hand it off to you, and you start your own. You start trying to sell it. Oh, so you're the design end of that whole business kind of. It's it's kind of more than that. It's almost like I I start a company for people. Oh, okay. You know, I'll give them. Oh, everything. that's interesting. Yeah. So there's no kilns in your cellar or, or anything being fired off at your apartment. No. Okay. Had, was there ever? Did you? Has it always been just pencil and and you know drafting board for you? No, I actually I do make the first one. I don't understand. I guess what okay. that means. Oh, okay. So um, the way any designer works usually is yeah. you make the first one. Yeah. You test it out, see if it works, um, and it's out always out of the material that it's going to be made out of. Yeah, oh, and it's okay. always you know a model like. A, um, you know, and belt buckles have to function, so... They do. Yeah. They keep your pants up. That's right. And rings have to Very work. That's right. <laughs> so, so you make the first one, and then you, you know... You wear it around for a while to make sure it works? Maybe, and, yeah. You know, or make sure that this doesn't get caught up on everything or That's what right. have you? Mm -hmm. Is, uh, so it's accessories. Is it all metal form? Um, no, I do a lot of uh, resin, which is like plastics. Okay. And, um... You know, they sell really well. What got you into this? Um, random life. Well, have you, been, have you been an artist all <clears throat> along? I mean, is it? No, um, I went to school for, I was like, it was, it was like a pre-med genre of, and, and I mean, Everyone I got, wanted to be a doctor? I don't know. <laughs> no, it was kind of like my parents were like, we'll pay for school if. If you study gonna, this. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, okay, sure. yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, I can minor in a free. lot of things. Right. <laughs> So I, I did finish it, but then I was done with that. Okay. Where did you go to school? UNH. Oh, you went to the... Oh. Yeah. Yankee Conference. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. That's the football. The, the football yeah. and soccer. It's the Yankee oh, like Conference. Oh, you're throwing yeah, sports I, I, into... I warned you earlier. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, we can talk about it. I just don't have a ton. To, okay. I'm more of a listener okay. in that way. Well, no. Way. Well, the Yankee, University of New Hampshire was in the Yankee Conference with Vermont, Maine, Rhode Island. All I remember is hockey. They were crazy Big. about hockey. Big time in hockey. That's all. So, uh, let me ask you this. 
do you do the approach? Do you go to low budget records and say, you know, I think this is a great idea for you? Well, okay, so kind of. I mean, I have, I'm, I'm on a lot of um, sort of like agencies that uh, hire out of New York. Mm -hmm. So I'll go and kind of interview and, and apply for, for jobs um, that are freelance in New York. And I also, I do other things too, like I mix a lot. I'm, I'm also sculpting. Yes, just sculpting as well. We're gonna get to that in a minute. Okay. Okay, yeah. but um, uh, I'm, I'm trying to envision this, and it, it, are you going into a boardroom with these big placards and saying, this is what that, this is what the ring that I think that your company should be selling looks like? Or are you going to the artisan who is jumping from open studios to open studios and helping them fabricate something that's going to be marketable up to the public? No, no, it's big firms. Big firms, yeah. it's big, big deals. Okay. It's big firms that aren't, like people who, who want to start their own company, and then also um, people who need designers for mm -hmm. like a fresh line or a fresh look. I'll just go in, you know, work for maybe two, three months, mm -hmm. and then I move on. And then on. after that design is done, yeah. and your contract with them ends, your credit for the work ends too. It always was never there. <laughs> like I just get paid for it, but mm. I'm really in the background, well, you know. Being an artist, does that bother you? Um, I mean, I, I guess it like cumulatively, it does sort of bother you, um, especially when you see a major, major company literally making like yeah. millions. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's, you know, or now you're that watching you the Academy about... Awards and someone walks in there with <laughs> right. the belt buckle on or the, 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 the brooch or whatever it is. I have actually had that situation. We're not mentioning any names. I, no. I mean, but I, 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 I often wonder about that because, you know, there's ghost writers. Yeah. And I've often wondered about that when someone goes up and picks up that Oscar for that screenplay, and I go, that guy didn't write that. Right. It's, a, it's an excellent question. And yes, you're completely, yeah, that's, I mean, you know, it's kind of like, um, but what am I going to do? Stop, stop doing it. No. It's, it's even harder oh. to sort of start your own company and then become a large name. You know, it's sort of like the odds are really slim that oh. you're going to, you know, be able to to do that. I did that for a while. Right. But it's like really, really hard. Well, is is there is there a, a, a an underground Christina brand? Yeah, I mean, definitely. Sometimes I'll see things on eBay that, that I like, you know, made. I when I was young, I sold. But is your name on that? Yeah, when I was okay, young, okay. I sold literally like a hundred thousand um, resin rings, and I sold it them to like eight hundred stores, you know. And, and my name is, you know, in it. Yeah. Forever in those pieces. Forever. Well, that's good, anyways. I guess so, yeah. I mean, I'm not done. I'm not, like, dead yet. I'm totally, I I'm still so. doing this. Yeah, yes. I mean, who So knows? there is an opportunity, there is a possibility or an opportunity at some point where there will be at some point a fashion show with people coming down the, 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 the boardwalk. What's it called? The boardwalk. The run, it's not the boardwalk. Let's it's just the call runway. It the boardwalk. Yeah, it's the runway. Coming yeah. down the runway, and you will come out afterwards as the designer of those pieces. I mean, it's a possibility. Yeah, I would rather sculpt, though. Let's talk about that. What, kind, right. what kind of sculpting do you do? Do you get big rocks and turn them into mugs and stuff? No, I'm doing these aluminum things and, and, you know, kind of like found objects. Like when you first come into this building, there are these amazing gears that are in the, those are amazing. So I'll, I'll show you, or I'll show you before we leave, there's some incredible things that yeah. this building had to keep. Like this stuff here, you No, know? it's incredible. Yeah. This, just this whole thing right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I want to like... Take it out. Want a big hunk to take with Can you? I have that? Yeah. <laughs> it's I want holding that. our building up. Okay, well, I still want it. I mean, it's big. <laughs> so so it's, it's kind of, are they large pieces that you do? Yeah, I mean, I'm, and I'm also doing smaller smaller stuff, too. Okay. Yeah. We've, we've got some, some pictures. Okay. Some JPEGs of some work. If we can take a look, that would be really awesome. Uh, if you could run those for us, please, from the other side of the, of the curtain. If you can see those, that'd be awesome. There, what is this we're looking at? Um, here? Those are belts that I did for a company called Metro Park. Mm -hmm. 
And yeah. <coughs> what are they fabricate? What, what is the material here? Um, so it's all, it's like jeweler's bronze and leather, and then the leather is painted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, next. Oh, that's actually a sculpture. And Good, it's, I'm glad you brought some sculpture. Uh, but I mean, I'm kind of just starting at this. This is, um, this is like a hanging aluminum sculpture. It looks like that, um, that game. Uh, yeah, it kind of does. And it also looks like, I mean, I'm, I think I'm going to call it, it looks like a muffin pan. But it, nice. honestly, in person, it's, it's kind of great. And people. What size like, and how big would that piece be? It's actually sort of like maybe three feet by three oh, feet. Oh, it's a good size. It's huge, it's... yeah. And then it's really thick, too. Cool. OK. That's um, an part of an engagement ring line that I did for a company. And, and I, I really, I, I didn't only make the models, but I made examples. OK. Very beautiful. This is, an, this is actually just a custom engagement ring that I made for a client. So people will come to you and say, I, I need something out of the ordinary or something original. Yeah, occasionally now. I, I still do some retail. So you do silversmith and stuff? I still do that. OK. Kind of just a little bit. OK. That's, a, that's the same remember. thing. It's part of a, part of a line that mm -hmm. I did. Very beautiful. Yep. Again. Another one. Um, yeah. Um, more belts. Yeah, that's a belt. Well, I like that. Thanks. That one was rose gold. Nice pinky ring for bass player. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Janice, are you what? listening? Who Father's Day is coming you? up, kids. Uh, OK. Yeah, that's the These are very that beautiful one? pieces. Um, Thank you. Do I do I do I imagine you kind of crouched over a table, kind of with the big magnifying things <laughs> chipping away? I do have that thing that you. Yeah, like. what's yeah. that called? I mean, I don't know. It clicks down. It's, it's the magnifying I, but, thing. Yeah, it's it's like a headgear. I don't even, I don't know what it is. That's kind of cool, isn't it? I love that thing. How do people get in touch with you? Do you have a show coming up? You should, um, of your work. I don't have a show of my work. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, you should. OK, I'll work on that. Did you ever paint yeah. or draw? Mm -hmm. What's your medium? Um, when I painted, I, I mean, I still do a little bit, but I did acrylics. OK. Yeah. Do you have a dedicated space? Um, you mean a, a studio? Yeah, that when you back out and you come back, it's the same thing. I mean, you're not chipping away at the kitchen table, are you? No. Mm. Yeah, I, I do have my my studio. Yeah. Good. When you're working, do you have to set an atmosphere? Um, what I mean by that is, I mean like, is uh, are we listening to Brian Eno or or Tchaikovsky or are we? Is, is it? No, not really. I mean, I usually I'll I'll put like documentaries on, and I'll just like you'll let watch it... TV while you're doing. Well, no, like documentaries. I'll just put them on. So there's some white noise in the background. Yeah, it's not really. I mean, it's it's like good TV. It's not like TV TV. It's not Family Guy. Right. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> it's not like... But I have. Kristen, I... I want to thank you for coming in. Um, if someone needs to get in touch with you, how do they do that? I know we've got you linked up on our. On our website, oh, do we? Yes, we do. Yeah, How do people get in touch with you? Um, just if you go to It's All About Arts and click on your name, right. contact information exactly. will come up. You'll get a website. Thank you so much for coming okay. in. Thanks it was it was a pleasure meeting you, and um, this was fun. It was. Thank you so much. Listen, gang, you are watching BNN and TV's It's All About Arts. That was fabulous. Look, we're only halfway through. Uh, We've got some more fun coming up. Uh, I want you to hang in there. We've got a, a great painter coming in, and he's going to sit. And we're going to talk a little bit about a little more about art. If that wasn't enough, we're going to talk a little bit more about arts. Listen, you are watching BNN TV's It's All About Arts. My name is Glenn Williams. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Please do not go away. You're going to enjoy this. Thank you.
Welcome back, gang. Thanks an awful lot for hanging in there with us. My name is Glenn Williams. You're watching BNN TV's It's All About Arts. And right now, it's my great pleasure and honor to introduce you to John Paul Blanchett. How you doing? <laughs> How are you, brother? Good. It's good Thanks. to see you. This, we have to start with that. Sure. Um, I mean, I, I, I have you listed down as a painter. Yes. Uh, is the, uh, okay. I'm gonna let you just go. What is what? That is great. I, I am really. Did you I, make that? No, no, no. Okay. I bought this. I'm not that good. <laughs> not yet, at least. But no, I bought this. I'm a really fascinated with knights in that time period, and I'm not. I'm not afraid the to be. Templars and all that. I'm not afraid to be different and unique and no. be an artist. And no, that's cool. Here well, that's, so this is part, <laughs> so it has nothing to do with what we're going to talk about. It's just you tonight. This, yeah, I like it. Well, John Paul, thank you very much for coming in. Thank um, you. I'm going to I'm going to kind of start off with the same kind of question that I, that I asked Christina, and that and that mm. is, if if somebody, it's an unfair question. It sure. really is sometimes. But uh, if, if someone had to, if you had to had to put yourself in a category, mm. if you had to say the kind of painter I am, I mean. the, yeah. the, the, the the categories is vast and so oh, many. Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, but, it, you know, someone had to put a... If you were going to be in a catalog, we had to come up with it's the... It's more like traditional, traditional style. Okay. Like lots of figures. Fine arts. So it's fine art. Fine yeah, artists. Yeah, yeah. Traditional okay. fine arts. Like representational. Right. What medium do you work in? Oil on canvas, oil paints. Yeah, I you like some, oils? I do a little digital art, too. Oh. Um, usually, I go through... Uh, a process like everything is done digitally first. Oh, get the idea together, and then I have that image. I kind of Frankenstein all the pieces together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so your journey is done digitally. Sometimes, you know, most of the times it is. Most well, of the time I can it see starts. that with oil because oil is, is so de so definite and so final. Some, well, yeah, there's sometimes. a lot of there's a lot of preliminary stuff. Yeah, like I, I've never never been the poor artist to just kind of go for it right on the canvas. Everything's everything's all figured out beforehand. Right, right, right. Uh, do you sketch it out too, or do sometimes you, yeah. like very crude thumbnails when I'll get the idea, mm -hmm. the original idea, and I try to keep it as true to the original idea mm -hmm. as I can. I'll do a little thumbnail and then take that thumbnail and put it into a uh, Photoshop uh, in the computer and put yeah, every, yeah, everything. Yeah, and together. finalize it, and yeah. and then you'll print something out or work from the screen and actually put, put usually this, print it out, yeah, print yeah. it out, and just it's great because it it goes through so many filters that by the time it's on canvas and painted, it's completely unique. Right. It's also been worked. Worked. You've worked it Put out. By hand, yeah. That's great. So, um, uh, how how big are your pieces? Do uh, you work in any specific? I size? I, ha I went through a phase where I was painting enormous, and uh, my record to date is uh, proud to say ten feet by seven feet oil on canvas. It's a lot of it's a lot of oil. <laughs> it paint. took me a year and a half to to finish. No it. kidding. Yeah. Are you meticulous like that? I mean, does it take you time? Are you are you a step back and check out the angle and make sure that this is? That's the best part. You'll 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 go away for a while mm. and give it some get some rest and come back with fresh eyes and look at it and be like, wow, this is all wrong. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Or what was I thinking? What and depending I... on when you come back, it's still wet and waiting for you, right? Yeah, and that's I tried acrylic paints and they dry too fast for me. Like mm. I'll 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 try I tried them out. I. I I um, 
went away and I got like a sandwich or something and I came back and it was like, it was everything was dry. <laughs> I'm like, I, how do people do this? They, people love it and I, I can't, I, it doesn't yeah. work with me. My temperament. I think people love it because of the colors and because it dries so quickly it, it, and because it, yeah. we're an impatient community. Absolutely. It, you get bang for your buck with acrylic. Like yeah. it's, the colors scream, they're brighter, yeah. it dries faster and the cleanup of course is just water oh, soluble. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you get bang for your buck but I can't. And some people can't take, the, you know, oils do have that they, they, smell. I love it. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I know what you're saying. It's like fruits of my labor when I, when I it's like, mm -hmm. oh, I'm, you know, I'm taking care of business. <laughs> Will you work on multiple pieces? I try to keep it uh, one at a time. See, now, you're one of the first guys to tell me that, really. I, I, I've been down that road where I had two going at once, and I abandoned that painting. It's collecting dust in the corner in a basement now because I just abandoned it because I, I learned the hard way. Like, I can't do that. Right. Because I, I, the energy... The best way I can describe it is like the energy from that will just be gone because right. you'll just be spending it all on this new project. So does, I, it's got to be one of the time. Does the painting take take over your energy and your persona? I mean, is it uh, become part of you or it becomes it's difficult definitely, to separate? It's definitely a lot of me on the on the canvas. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it definitely there's a definite big part part of my personality in my artwork. Definitely. How long have you been doing it? I've been an artist my whole life. I'm 38 right now. Uh, I'm very lucky in that way that um, I don't ever remember not being an artist. Oh, that's great. I was I was very fortunate to have a family that supported me and let me do my thing. Right. And uh, very supportive and never remember not being an artist. Like you know, started just like everyone else, crayons and then markers and then more and more and more and here I am. You know. Well, yeah. I'm an elementary school art teacher. Sure. You know, and uh, and we're we're. Always, always trying to foster that yeah. artistic, you know, sure. doing it is one thing, but that sure. feel, that being, that feeling like an artist sure. thing, yeah. it, it's, it's not always prevalent and it's not always easy to discover it inside yourself. Right. I think everyone's an artist. You, know, you just a, haven't been right. discovered. And, and what's amazing to me is when I see sports games, mm -hmm. uh, I'll see sports games and I'll see people, uh, men, with their face paint on, <laughs> and in that setting, it's okay to be an artist. And <laughs> it's okay to be an artist in right. that setting. But they're scrubbing it off before they go to the office the yeah, next day. Yeah, yeah. It's like in that setting, it's okay to be creative. But I mean, you can do that 24/7. Yeah, of course <laughs> you can. You can live that way, and yeah. and and I encourage it. My, my Janice is an incredible artist, and she's always any free moment she has, she's sitting doodling and doing something. You know. Right on. And uh, I think that that's that 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 life and that feel of Creativity is just so, so really cool. Yeah, I wouldn't have it any other way. Great. Do you have a, I'm going to ask you too, do you have a space where you work? I work in the basement right now. I don't have a studio. I'm just, I get, is... a lot of, I get a lot of space in my basement where I live and can play my music loud. Right. And but it's a place where you can sometimes leave I'll... everything alone and turn and come back and everything's where you left it. Yeah, it's, you know, it's just like a, it's like an isolation chamber. You're just down there and That's doing cool. my thing and I yeah. can detached from reality and you just said play your music loud what are you listening to these days heavy metal good okay no <laughs> that's all right yeah that's all right anybody very, in particular very big um black sabbath yeah well you go back to the tradition okay really yeah you can't get, you can't beat them uh, yeah. a lot of bands like that a lot of contemporary bands metallica slayer cool. all those all those guys that can go on no oh, there's hundreds days. yeah there's, there's tons of them um, we're going to look at some of your pieces. Let's take a look at some of your work, okay? Cool. It's going to be up on the screen over here. Um, talk to me about what I'm looking at. That's being called Before Forever. Uh, How big is this? Um, that is about uh, 40 inches tall, something like that. Huh. Okay. Uh, it's a little distorted. I can't on this monitor, but um, I know. I you know, the paintings never do justice. That's my most commercial commercial one by far. Okay. Uh, that was kind of really me forcing myself to finish that one. <laughs> it's like, what have I done? Originally, it was going to have a, a, a kitten on the windowsill there too, but I was like, you've gone too far. Like, <laughs> the cat would have put you like, over this, the edge. That was it. Like, I, that's okay. just I've, that's so yeah. Okay. Next. This is a ten foot by seven footer. Yikes. Yeah, that took me a long time to make. Uh, that's an angel flying in a pipeline of a wave that's on fire, heading towards a pleasant valley below on the right-hand side. So, 
impact. Now, something something like this. Let's stay on this one for just a minute. Yeah. Um, um, something like this is that something that you know we talked about your your creative process where you'll kind of build something. Yeah. On 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 Photoshop or you drag sure. this piece in from here from there. Sure. Is this what you thought of at the beginning? Uh, there's a, there's a bit of a you know happy accidents that go on in Photoshop because it's like an unlimited thing. Like yeah. it's unlimited. Like you'll have a mistake right. and it'll be like. One of the best parts of being an artist is you're like, that's not a mistake. Right. I'm going to go with this. Right. So um, that happened uh, quite a bit on this one. But it's, it's basically the uh, idea I had was this angel in a pipeline of a wave that's on okay, fire. Okay, so that part you started with. That, that okay. I started with. The, uh, the, the, uh, the valley just sort of just material, like, just sort of happened. Yeah, that crazy filter. You didn't know what it I, did. You I, clicked I, on it, and there it was. I think I, I accidentally erased some of the wave, and I'm like, oh, I know what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to put like a... So, uh, the depth pulls the viewer in when, uh, to art, as far as I've, I, it's been my experience and what I've read. Like, if you have some depth, yeah. like a space that pulls you in, yeah. so that it pulls you in when you have like something way in the background there. That's quite fabulous. That's really, really good. That uh, angel also bears a likeness to Lady Gaga, by the way. Oh. <laughs> she's not heavy metal, you know. No, she's not. <laughs> okay. Next. Uh, what is this called? This is called Global Warning, <laughs> which is... Uh, it's been a spin on global global uh, warming, of course. Mm -hmm. So it's very surreal. Uh, that's that's the Grim Reaper, of course, on the left there. And uh, haven't met him yet, so I'll take yeah, your word for it. Let's let's avoid that person for now. Yeah. And uh, Rose is there on the right hand side. That's of course a, a grandfather clock on fire with the. Uh, oh God, that's great. With what the, imagery? Uh, yeah, the, the Earth, of course, there hovering. You know, the, the big the big sun. There in the background, like heating things up, global global, global warming. warming. Here so it comes. Global warning. There you go. Okay. Lions love life. That's uh, pretty basic stuff. The landscape with animals, piece. pretty traditional, very kind of stock. People love it. Again, yeah. the, the space pulls you in. Yep. Background. Yo Star pirates. Huh? Star pirates. Yeah. Uh. There Yep. It's a pirate on a ship in our space. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, it'll be, you know, the ubiquitous Jesus painting. There yes. The resurrection. The resurrection. Coming out of the cave. And if you look, if you turn your head, maybe you can see that it kind of forms a fish for what it's worth. That's the symbol. There you go. Very symbolic. Nice job. Uh, very middle way. Uh, it's about uh, pretty symbolic here. The, the swords is... Eight swords, which is the eightfold path. There's four tree branches, which is the four noble truths. Uh, Buddha, of course. Hmm. The impaled vampire queen at sunrise. <laughs> Horror theme painting. This is great. Uh, so that she's getting a stake there on the. Uh, on yeah, the well, by she a probably vampire, deserves vamp, it. Vampire hunter. Right. Okay. That's great. That's super. You Thank know, you. One of the things I noticed is that there are very traditional pieces like that piece mm, with sure. from would look like an African yeah. setting. Yeah. And 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 then there's this really outside of right. any yeah. kind of, you know, oh god, I'm afraid to use the word. Sure. Now, outside any traditional yeah. No, no, I'm not even going to use that word. Uh, way outside the box. We'll just leave it at leave it at that. Yeah. How come? Um, I just Is it because with, you have to? No, I'm not going to say that. I just go with you. Just go with the ideas. Yeah, I mean, it's very, it. very basic stuff. Like I'll just have an idea and I'll run with it. Like mm -hmm. I've read that it's important to have a distinct style and stick with it as an artist your whole career if you want to really have a go for it. Like just, you know, like Picasso would like would just do cubism mm. for for years and years and years and years and years. Um, and I, I think I, he was I just, in a rut. I, just, I don't think I, it had anything to do with it. He's genius, but yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I just come all over the place. I'll get an idea, and I'll be like, "Well, you know, I'm not really doing this stuff right now, but I, I'll, I'll just go for it." Do, just, you, do you find that that your mood and in, in maybe what's going on around you is going to dictate whether or not we're going to have nice roses and beautiful sunsets and nice trees and lions or impaled which is sure. at sunrise that, that can that can have an effect definitely i mean yeah. there's some autobiographical work going on in there well um, that's what i would imagine so I, yeah. I would think that especially if you're a one-piece guy mm. 
if you're working on one piece, it's yeah. got it's got to reflect what's going on with you now. Yeah. I mean, there's a, a lot of fire tends to be a theme in my artwork over the years. I've noticed, and mm -hmm. um, it's um, it's about just passion and like going for it and trying to get myself out there, like trials of and life how is and that stuff going? like that. Good. Good. Do you have any shows coming up we need to know I about? I may be in a show um, North Attleboro Arts Museum coming up in a month or something like you that. You've got to let us know so we can publicize sure. it for you and let people know where to go and I'd get be, it. I'd be happy to. What yeah. are you working on today? Are you going I, home to work my, tonight? My, uh, my next body of work is pretty exciting in that I'm going to try to incorporate technology and traditional uh, painting together. As best I can, uh -huh. so it'll be multimedia. In other words, oh, there's going to be oh, some dimensional. It's going to be like 3D kind of, but 2D at the same time. It, that's difficult to explain, but oh. I'm really excited about it. That's great. I, um, have you always been? Is it always been painting for you? Because uh, if for 38 years you've been an artist, were you painting? I, the, you know, here's, at six here's, and seven years old. Here's what happened. I graduated college in 2002. Uh, I studied film and video. I, you know? I went to Fitchburg State University. And uh, I graduated, and I was like, here we go. I'm going to get a job, and everything's going to be great. And, I'm, and there was no work. <laughs> there was just no work. Yeah. I would get a freelance job maybe once or twice a year. And, yeah. and I, I just, I just kind of just, you know, just like this is, I've got all this creativity. I've got to do something. So I discovered a local painter. I, went, I was like, I'm going to start painting. I uh, found out about this local painter named Jaime Alfonso. It turned out to be a, a, an interna internationally acclaimed artist. <laughs> it's like a couple towns over from where I live. And the house. Yeah. And uh, I took lessons with him, and that was it. Like this, I'm going to do this. I love this. Like That's this great. Been no looking back. That was 2003. That's so great. That's that fabulous. Me, that I, I, lo I love meeting meeting cats that are living their dream. And speaking of, of dreams, you're also picking up the guitar. You're going to start. You're going to try and give Ozzy a run for his oh, money? Oh, man, or? maybe. maybe. Like I, yeah, I'm taking, I've been playing you know, guitar for 20 years yeah. now, so I just took it seriously about two years ago, taking, taking lessons, really, really focusing. And, yeah, it means the question a lot is, to is, is, you may be listening to heavy metal. Are you playing sure. heavy metal, too? Sure. Or are you finding sure. you do a lot of Simon and Garfunkel? <laughs> well, no, 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 not much, not much Simon and Garfunkel, <laughs> although I appreciate that and, you know, well, that's good. You're playing what you love, and I think that's important. Yeah, exactly. Well, that, this has been fabulous. Um, the uh, Andover, you said? No. Uh, I, I, may, I may have a show uh, happening in um, Attleboro, Attleboro. Attleboro Arts Museum. There's a lot of A's out there. Yeah, they've been very good to me. Well, that's good. So you've had some pieces show there in the past? Yeah, yeah. I had a few. A few uh, that one uh, before forever that painting sold there actually <laughs> that's great it was fantastic now yeah. is there a website people can go and peruse around i have a blog an art blog oh, you uh, do? john paul blanchett you can just google my name and that'll be a pop up the blog art to astonish will pop up the blog i'm a, i've got a facebook fan page i'm all over those that's sites. yeah that's good social networking nowadays uh, is really really doing a big deal for us isn't absolutely it? It definitely uh, helps. i mean it's it's taking the record companies right out of business yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Why? You can do it in your living room. Uh, yeah, true. You know, and some people, it's, we are. Yeah. You know, and, uh, and, and uh, you know, it sounds okay to me. I mean, I'm not, I have no, no, no delusions of grandeur. Sure, you know, sure, sure. I understand the business. And, yeah. And, uh, you probably know much more about it than I do. Well, I, you know, I just love playing. I agree. That's where the fun part is. Jean Paul, thank you so much thank for Thank you for having in. me. It was a pleasure. Watch this. Everybody watching? No. Oh. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Do you wear it when you paint? No, I can't. Oh, so, uh, I'd find a I, way. I, I gotta apologize. I grabbed the wrong gauntlet today, so I would have shaked you with the usual uh, hand, but uh, I grabbed the wrong gauntlet. I usually have it on this. I usually have it on the on the left. You hand. had both. I, I got two. So I have one. For, <clears throat> I have one for you know. I guess it's a spare. <laughs> John Paul, you're right out there. Thank you very much for being here with us. Thank you very much. Listen, gang, thanks an awful lot for being here with us tonight. This was a great show. We had a lot, a lot of fun. We won't be here next week. Next week is a holiday. Enjoy the long weekend. Be safe. Do something with your family, please. But get out there and do something artful. And like I like to say every week, please keep in the forefront of your minds our mothers, fathers, sons and daughters, aunts and uncles, nieces and nephews on foreign soil. Please. Keep them in your forefront of your minds. And thank you very much for being part of our show. We're losing a favorite intern tonight. Ooh. Listen, gang, thanks an awful lot for being here. We'll see you in a couple of weeks, okay? Get out there and do something fun. Bye-bye, guys.